trigonometric equations express 3 cos x minus 4 sin x equals to k times cos x minus a where a is between 0 to 360 degrees. I have always find one of the questions like this in the test paper and you know there are a series of questions which could be solved in a similar way. So we'll do a specific one and then we'll also take consider a general solution in the next video. I'd like you to see both the videos so that you appreciate how to solve these kinds of trigonometric equations. Okay, The way to do it is like this. So you write this left side as such and expand the right hand side using cos a minus b formula, right? So we can rewrite this as 3 cos of x minus 4 sin x equals to k times and what is cos x minus a? So we'll write this as cos a cos b plus sin a sin b, correct? That is what it is. So it is cos a is x for us, cos a cos a plus sin x sin a, correct? So that is the expansion of cos x minus a, compound angle formulas, correct? So if you have difficulty in understanding this, you can look into my videos on compound angle formulas. So it's a straight application of compound angle formula. Now, if you compare these two equations, then you can see cos x, correct? Let's compare them. We have cos x and we have cos x, correct? So what comes before cos x? Or rather, I should say, what is the coefficient of cos x here? It is 3. And what is the coefficient of cos x in this case? k times cos a, right? a is any specific number, correct? So it's a constant, right? Therefore, we can write here that k times cos a should be equals to 3 if these two expressions are equal, correct? So we'll write like that. So k times cos a equals to 3. Similarly, let's now compare the coefficients of sin x. So we have sin x here and sin x here. So the coefficient of sin x here is minus 4. And over there, it is k times sin x. And therefore, we can write k times sin x, sorry, sin a it should be, right? Sin x, sin a. k times sin a should be equal to minus 4. You see that? So by comparing the coefficients, only then these two expressions can be same. Is that okay? So that is how, that's the trick involved in solving this, right? Now let's square both sides and add them up. If we square, let's do it in steps. Then we get k square cos square a equals to 9. And we get k square sine square a equals to minus 4 square, which is 16, correct? So that's what we get when we square them. And if we add them, so we get k square cos square a. Now let's add them. So we get k square cos square a plus k square sine square a equals to 9 plus 16, right? Now we can take k common and then we are left with k square common and we are left with cos square a plus sine square a, right, equals to 25. Now cos square a plus sine square a is 1 and therefore we get k square equals to 5 square, that is 25 square and so k equals to 5, correct? Now what we are assuming is that let k be just positive value. So, so let me add here, we are assuming k greater than equal to 0, positive values, right? Otherwise, you know, when we do this, k squared equals 25, we could have written plus and minus, right? So k could be both, right? But let's consider k to be a positive value. In that case, k equals to 5. So we got the value of k. So you can see from here, actually speaking, k is 3 square plus 4 square square root, right? The coefficient squares. That is how we get the value of k. Now, how can you get the angle alpha or a? How will you get this angle a? Now, we know 
k times cos a is 3 and k times sin a is minus 4. Let me give equation numbers. Be easy for me. Let it be this 1 and this is 2. And if we divide equation 2 over equation 1, what do we get? Let's do that part now. Okay, so let's divide 2 by 1. So we get on the right, on the left side we get k times sin a divided by k times cos a, right? And on the right side we get minus 4 over 3. Is that okay? Now what is this? k, k cancel out and we get tan a equals to minus 4 over 3. So that is what we get for tan, correct? Now tan is negative in two quadrants, correct? It is negative either in quadrant 2 or, so this is the cost rule, right? It's always good to go with the basics, right? So tan is actually positive here and here, but it's negative here and here, correct? So we get minus 4 over 3. So what we can do is, we can use our calculator and find what A is. So we get a, this is, I'm just taking for plus 4 over 3. The related acute angle, let me call that as alpha. The related acute angle will be tan inverse of 4 over 3. And then we'll figure out what exactly the answer should be, right? 53.1 degree, correct? So that is one of the related acute angle. That's not real answer, right? So we are finding an angle 53.1, that's the related acute angle right kind of here in the first quadrant but really we need tan a equals to minus 4 over 3 so our answers are these in this angle quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4 correct where the related acute angle is 53.1 so this is 53.1 for us right now so these are the two possible answers now see from equation 1 and 2, we know one thing, that sine is negative and cosine is positive. That is the case only when we are in quadrant 4, correct? It is not the case in quadrant 2. In quadrant 2, sine should be positive, correct? Since sine is negative, our answer lies in quadrant 4, correct? That is what it is. And therefore, the, the only solution which we have is a equals to 360 degrees minus 53.1 degree, correct? So that is the answer, which is 306.9 degrees. Do you understand? So that is the answer for this particular question.